<laughs> we about to do this right now. You can already take a look at the thumbnail. Um, you could take a look at the title. This is gonna be a much different upload today than what I normally put on the channel, but I wanted to take you guys on a journey with me, on a ride for me to help me <laughs> push me along during this process. And this process is a big goal for myself. It's something that I created uh, two and a half years ago when I took out the mortgage in this crib right here, in this condo, and that is to pay it off. Yes, I am going to pay off my 30 year mortgage in two and a half years. I wanted to bring you guys along here today simply because um, I think far too often stories like this don't get brought out into the light and I wanted to be able to do that for you guys here today. And I wanna make a couple of things clear before I get into this discussion. Number one, um, by no means am I trying to brag, am I trying to gloat, am I um, exaggerating what I have done in my life in order to get here. I try to be as authentic as possible because I know one thing is for sure, you cannot dream what you cannot see or what you have not seen. People that look like you are able to do. So that is my goal, all right? My goal here, again, not to brag, not to boast, but to show you that this is possible, that this is possible. It's very real and it's very possible, okay? The second thing that I wanted to talk about, because there's gonna be people down in there like, yo, what you doing paying off your mortgage? You could get so much more money investing in X, Y, and Z. I know, <laughs> I know, I, I know that the, I'm losing out from an opportunity cost perspective. I could have put the same amount of money down into an investment account and it probably could have grown into more money at the end of it. But this is a goal that I set for myself because I know at the end of this, I'm gonna get a guaranteed rate of return, which is the cost of my monthly mortgage payment. I don't wanna pay that at all. And on top of that, I have this goal of being financially independent. What does that mean? That means that I don't need to work anymore. Uh, and really, when I pay off my mortgage, what else do I have to pay for as a 35-year-old man, no wife, no kids, no dog <laughs> or cat, you understand me? I gotta pay taxes, utility, and food, that's it. And that, for me, is financial independence. That you do not have to live a life in debt. You do not have to live a life owing someone else. And that you can create and craft a life for yourself where you can take back your most valuable asset, which is your time. You understand me? And that's very important, okay? Because on my quest towards being the most happy and the most joyous person that I can be, I understand that I have to maximize the time of my life to be able to do that. And necessarily that time is not being maximized by giving my time for money. So the opportunity that I can pay off my largest expense, because I'm not in debt besides this home, the opportunity that I can be able to do that is the opportunity that I have my time back because I no longer have to work to afford what this is. Essentially, I'm saying that I want to be able to lead by example. I want to be able to show you guys the receipts. I want you to be able to understand that this is not fairy tale. This is not a dream. This is not made up. Anything that you do within your young 20s all the way through your 30s is going to solidify how much time that you will have available to do whatever it is that you want to do into the future. But today, we're going to pay this sucker off. All right. So guys, listen, I'm about to call the loan officer right now. I'm going to bring you in on that conversation. All right. Your current outstanding principal balance is $108,086.78. Thank you. And what can I do for you today? Sorry, is there anything else I can do for you? No, I think that's it. All right. You have a great day and thank you for calling. Thank you. All right, guys, so you just heard that. Um, so I'm going to wait and see when I get the email, and then I'll be right back down in there, all right? One eternity later. What up, folks? All right, listen. It's been a couple of days now since the previous video, and what happened is that the loan provider actually sent me an email of the total amount to pay off. I went to that email. I saw the amount. I went down to my bank, had them make a cashier's check, put it in an envelope, mailed it out for one-day delivery, and it's been two days now. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take you with me as I call on the phone to verify 
that it has been paid, okay? For security purposes, please enter the last four digits of your social security number. Your loan is showing a zero balance. Year-to-date interest paid is $384.97. The amount applied to principal year-to-date is $109,915.44. All right, guys. Um, you just heard it. Um, this is... Um, It's hard to put into words um, what this means for me, and I, I do hope and appreciate that those that have been with me on this journey um, understand um, how important that this is to me and my authenticity of the knowledge that I try to bring to you is to say that this shit is not made up. Um, this shit is very real. Like I've said previous times in previous live streams and pre-recorded videos, this is the year of the receipts no longer should you let charlatans tell you what you should and should not do based off of the smoke and mirrors or the snake oil that they toss in your face there's verified ways to do this appropriately okay and i'm not bullshitting you when i tell it to you like that guys listen i want to share something else with you uh, as well so um a day ago i talked to my father and <laughs> I let him know kind of what, what I was up to. He has no idea that this was the next goal within my life. So it was just as much a surprise to him as anybody. So I wanted to share with you guys that particular conversation. All right. How are you, son? Doing good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm just sitting here. My face hurts from smiling so much. Uh, why, why is that? That's, a, that's, a, that's another first, you know. What? You're the first person. In the family to get an MBA. First person in the family to, to well, I don't know about the whole family, but in this family here, they have a new car. Because <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never had a new car. I can't afford it. Yeah. And uh, first person to pay off this house in two and a half years. Mm -hmm. that, that's unbelievable. That's something, man. Wow. Yeah. That's putting your money in the right places where you're really setting your life up for later. Mm -hmm. You really are. Mm -hmm. wow. That's yeah. like money in the bank, too. You yeah, because so yeah, it's, it's an investment. Tell, huh? I say, yeah, because it's, it's an investment because, um, you know, it's different than a, a car, you know, yeah. because, you know, it's, it, it's a depreciating asset. But this home is not going to depreciate. So it's. You know, I, I think it's it's money well spent. Well, the thing is, is that you're not paying interest on a loan anymore, too. Mm -hmm. So then that adds to your money. Mm -hmm. And then when you do go to sell it, it's not like you've got to pay off a mortgage to see and you know see any kind of profit. Um, you know, on that because you've either you know you didn't refinance, you didn't do all those things. So, but you absolutely did what most Americans do, can't do, let alone think of doing it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, man! I can't begin to tell you that's a real proud moment. Wow. I mean, I mean, every year it's been every time that I've had debt, it's been two and a half years from undergrad. Um, when I was doing, you know, I started off at like forty-five thousand dollars a year with twenty, twenty, twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars in debt. That took yeah. me two and a half years. When I graduated um, with with my MBA, thank goodness I had a full tuition ride scholarship. But you know all yeah. of the cost and living, and then that trip to Europe that I took, I came out with like forty five thousand dollars. That took me about two and a half years. Wow. And then I started this at the end of twenty eighteen for the mortgage, and that took me two and a half years. Um, so it's been exponential increases in the amount. This yeah. this is by far the largest increase of what I had to pay off in the two and a half years, but it took me about two and a half years, a little, little less than two and a half years to pay this one off. Yeah, that's man, that's amazing. But what that does that that just that puts you in more control of your life. Mm -hmm. That's you that's know. really it. Yeah, I mean that's the reason why I did it is just for absolute and utter control. Because really, right now, 
I mean, technically, I'm financially independent right now. I, don't, I wouldn't have to work again unless my life changed in some way, my lifestyle changed in some way. But yeah. I mean, after I pay this off, it's just taxes and food and utilities. I mean, I, I think you understand it now at 35. You're going to really appreciate that at 45. Mm -hmm. 55, because those the one thing you can't do, you can't buy more time. So yeah, as yeah. you <laughs> you know, you realize that those things that you put in place and then every subsequent project that you do, it, it's, it's going to be even more money in the bank. So you're going to be able to even save more now than what you ever were able to save because you won't have that mortgage, which is probably your biggest monthly. Mm -hmm. Looking at it. congratulations. I'm very proud of you. Love you. That's wonderful. I'm glad so much. Excellent. All right. I'll talk with you later. All right. See you there. Guys, listen, before I end the video, I had a couple of more things to say, a couple of more things to touch in on. Um, and kind of going back to one of the main ideas that I said in the beginning of this video is, what is the purpose of me doing this? What is the purpose of me showing this reality of myself and, sh and sharing it with you guys? Um, and again, it's not to brag or anything like that. But I am a believer that if People who look like me are not showing you how it's done or are not showing you that it can be done or not showing you another way than what rich people sitting up in ivy towers had created in some media fabricated engine of the way that you should live your life. They don't talk about the cons of credit. They don't talk about the cons of affording all these things on these commercials and these advertisements that you are looking at then you can get misguided. You can get swayed. However, if I put a real goal in front of you of something this difficult to attain, especially in America, because there's so many shiny things around <laughs> for you to buy, then you won't think that it's possible. Now, picture this. If you get rid of your debt, if you get rid of your mortgage, right, then you have back your most valuable and important asset known to you your time your health too um but that's another thing because no one really even thinks about health until you <laughs> until you get sick but it's your time that's your most important and most valuable asset you have that back all right technically i have that completely back right now with no kids no marriage and no debt I have nothing else that I need to actually do, but my purpose keeps me here. My purpose keeps me at my not my my nine to five. I'm not gonna retire, but now I'm financially independent. Some people view F you money as making a million dollars. But what if we change that mantra around? What if F you money is not having any debt? Because at the point that you don't have any debt, you have no one that you owe, oh, you have a lot more options. All right. Something going on in your nine to five that you don't feel comfortable with anymore. Well, now you have that option. You're not stuck. You're not on that hamster wheel of life that our parents experienced and thought was normal. All right. We are the most innovative generation known to mankind. Start to innovate how you think. Start to think outside the box. Their rules that they created for you to govern your life. It's not necessarily the rules that will make you the most happy, all right? I've sat down and thought really long about where do I see my life well into my 40s and my 50s and my 60s as I continue to get older. You would be remiss not to do the same. There's no way I can make this a particular goal of mine unless I set these goals years in the past. That's what I want to leave with you guys here today. Um, thank you again for all of your support. Um, thank you for all of the love. Uh, thank you for continuing to share and to push my content. It means the absolute world to me. I am on a path and a mission to make sure, outside of all the entertaining shit that I do, that I can give you keys to really unlock your full and ultimate potential. Last thing I'm going to say is, guys, I have an entire Patreon where one of the major benefits to that is that you get access to me through a Discord as well as the entire community where we go over things just like this, 
All right. From a real estate perspective, from a financial literacy perspective, there's so many. I, I have to probably do a whole video on my Patreon and my Discord group because there's so many resources that are available that are not available anywhere else on the Internet as it is curated by me. You understand what I'm saying? If you are interested in being a part of the inner circle, click on that link down in the description box down below. Go up there and see what the benefits are to have in store. If you have particular questions, send me an email. My email is right down below as well. All right? That's what I'm going to leave with you guys today. Questions, comments, concerns, y'all already know what to do. Media tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. All right? Until next time, you two. Peace! Goddamn, Mike is in the way. <laughs>